In June 2020, an animatronic green alien from an unknown production appeared on PropStore.com, an online store that sells entertainment memorabilia. Despite not recognising this alien animatronic, I hastily purchased it for myself, in fear that it would be bought by someone else. Since then, I've been trying to discover the origin of this puppet, where it came from, and if it ever made it on screen. This is the journey I've taken so far, trying to find out just what this puppet is. A green alien animatronic puppet used in the production of an unknown commercial in the mid-90s. The alien puppet features thin straggly legs and arms and fingers, a bloated stomach and a pair of ears. A set of antennae sit on the top of its head and the puppet has been finished in vivid shades of green, both considered stereotypical traits of the extraterrestrial creatures, and two shiny eyeballs with brown pupils adorn its face. This was the description given on the website when I bought it. The only important information I could take away from this is that it was used for a commercial and that the commercial was aired in the mid 90s. Obviously, this wasn't much information to go on. Regardless, I thought I'd try my luck at finding the alien in any adverts from the 90s. I started by simply searching for various orders of key words. Green alien advert, Green Alien Commercial, Alien Puppet Advert, Green Alien Puppet, and many more of a similar description. I tried these searches on Google, YouTube, and Bing. Unsurprisingly, green aliens are extremely common on the internet. They are everywhere. After this, I decided to try and make my area of searching narrower. So I stuck with YouTube and tried searching for anything that could relate to aliens in a commercial i.e. space, UFOs, Mars, etc. I got pretty close with some commercials, some incredibly close, so much so that I thought for a split second that I had found it. Little Monster has some great new gizmos on his bike, like Monster Spoke Clackers, in four different colours. There's one free in every Monster Munch multi-pack, and a new Mega Bike Blaster that looks just like him. Free when you send off the tokens from Monster Munch single packs. Just right for waking up the big monsters. Oh dear, they've gone white with shock. Monster Munch, the biggest noise in town. After getting nowhere, I stopped searching for a while. I received an email from Prop Store, who I previously emailed about the alien puppet, hoping to get any more information on its history. They gave me the company name of the previous owners of the puppet, Animated Extras. After a simple Google search, I found the company. From singing sloths to the petrifying corpses of Hollywood A-listers, Animated Extras have been creating all kinds of weird and wonderful things for the film, TV and advertising industry since 1986. To my joy, they had a credit list on their website, showing all their work, so I got straight to finding the 90s, looking for any mention of the alien. I found one. Despite it saying it was from the year 2000, I was confident I'd found what I was looking for, described as a rotted alien. The commercial was for HP, the company best known for manufacturing printers. I went straight to YouTube to find the video. Another dead end. I tried emailing the company in the hopes that they could tell me more info, but I never heard back. At this point, I thought I had to give up again. 
I had resorted to spending hours sifting through advert compilations on YouTube and wasn't getting anywhere. During my time away from the search, I watched several videos about lost media and fell down that rabbit hole on YouTube. But this gave me an idea. What if I posted images of the puppet on Reddit, wherever I thought it would be relevant? If I couldn't find it, maybe someone else could, or at least remember seeing it on TV. I started with Reddit page, help me find, but to no avail. So I got more specific with the animatronics Reddit page. This got more attention. Reddit user Robo Tortoise suggested I try the what is this thing page. This is where it started getting interesting. I started getting several suggestions from what it could be from, some of which I'd already discovered during long advert searching on YouTube. Some I hadn't, but alas, no results. Several users speculated that they recognised it from somewhere and had seen it before. This gave me hope that the puppet was indeed used on screen and wasn't just a prototype or unused. Some even speculated it could be related to Mac from Mac and Me, but I found that highly unlikely despite some similarities in the puppets. Then I got a suggestion from one user, Bongo McCheese, who suggested it was from an Austrian commercial. Admittedly, I wasn't fully convinced considering the lack of evidence to back this up. However, another user, Rikeru, had discovered an old link to the same puppet on PropStore. This was a major find, considering I hadn't found this page in my search, even on the website's archives. The description confirmed that it was indeed from an Austrian commercial. Up until this point, I had assumed that the animatronic had been used in a British advert, considering I bought it in the UK and it was previously built or at least owned by a UK-based company. With this newfound information, I turned to the next logical place, Reddit's Austria page. Whilst waiting for any potential hits on Reddit, I started searching for any Austrian adverts on YouTube. Reddit user Acid Crayon suggested I search for Orfebum on YouTube, which led me to compilations of what I believe are old adverts from Austria, which I'm now burning through. This is as far as I have got in my search for this seemingly lost commercial featuring the alien puppet. I'm determined to find this mystery commercial and give this animatronic an origin. If you think you've seen this puppet before, or recognise the puppet, please get in touch with the channel, or leave any suggestions in the comments below. Until then, this alien's past remains well and truly lost.